Many of you remember a period of time, several years, when almost every reported alien craft that was reported landed was on or near water and appeared to be pumping water into the craft. Many of you remember that. Quite a few. The water went to the moon, ladies and gentlemen, to change the moon. It possesses a gravitational field and man can walk upon its surface without a spacesuit breathing from an oxygen bottle after undergoing decompression the same as any deep sea diver. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can come from 1,200 feet underwater to the surface through decompression, you can go from the surface to one atmosphere of vacuum. See, vacuum does not cause a problem for the human body. It's the inert gas that's dissolved in your tissues and in your bones and in the fluids in your body that causes you the problem. If this is decompressed properly, you will have no problem. All you need is a very small amount of oxygen, very small pressure to breathe. You will suffer no harm except for one thing, that oxygen becomes toxic after breathing it over a long period of time. Therefore, excursions would have to be of a minimal time length. Other than that, there is no reason why you or anyone else cannot walk on the surface of the moon or in space in a vacuum without a spacesuit. How do I know? I used to be one of the world's experts on deep sea mixed gas breathing mixtures for divers and on deep saturation diving. When I was the head of the department for the Mixed Gas Deep Saturation Diving Division of the College of Oceaneering. And I can tell you now, it's much easier to decompress to a vacuum and walk on the surface of the moon than it is to bring a man up from 600 feet. I've seen the photographs, and some of them were actually published in a book called We Discovered Alien Bases on the Moon by Fred Steckling. However, all the photographs are not there, but there are some very good ones. I would advise you to buy the book, I'd advise you to look at the photographs, get the NASA number and send for them. I doubt that you can still get them, but at one time you could. In 1969, a confrontation broke out between the human scientists and the aliens at the Dulce Underground Lab. The aliens took many of our scientists hostage. Delta forces were sent in to free them, but were no match against the alien weapons. Sixty-six of our people were killed during this action. As a result, we withdrew from all joint projects for at least two years. A reconciliation eventually took place, and once again we began to interact. As far as I know, today we are interacting with the aliens. 